I just want you to fall. I want you to fall, not using your hands. It's a gentle that. And literally when they feel that, it's like, oh, she doesn't want me to do a swan dive. She's not gonna die. <laughs> right? And so if you do here, and it's just, you can see the progression. The outside of my leg hits first. The outside of my leg here. And you go right into it. Okay? That really does not hurt. I actually am gonna ask you guys to do that right now. I'm gonna go forward, covered lateral space. So the first thing that should hit is the outside of your leg. Okay? So if I'm here, the first thing that should hit is this to cover your space. Okay? Now, let's look at how I am. Come in close. Here, my stick is slightly angled forward. My glove, contrary to what goalkeepers might do, is not here. Okay? It's here. So if a ball's coming in, we can play an aerial. If the ball's on the ground, we can control with that. Okay? Um, the other thing is my legs are slightly angled forward and I'm pointing my toes as much as I can to cover as much space as possible. All right? From here, our recovery has got to be a swift recovery. We are not taking photos. We are not staying down here. We're not asking for help getting up. So right now, this is the biggest piece of what I'm seeing, specifically yesterday when we do our clinics, is we don't get up quick enough. So we shouldn't be going down if we can't get up. So here's what we have been te teaching, is we're gonna roll for forward here. I want my head and my chest going to our rebound. Then what I do is I push up at the same time, bring my legs, and then I finish going forward. I'll do it a little faster so you can see, okay? So we're here. Made a great save. I'm gonna push up here. And then I pull my bottom leg forward. Okay? <laughs> this position is hard for goalkeepers. Okay? What we see is this. Mm -hmm. This, very much like aerials, you lessen the amount of surface area that they have. If you're on the ground, you gotta take away some vertical height by staying on the, here, okay? So this counteracts that, okay? So. So you bring so. your left toes straight mm -hmm. up and really mm -hmm. never get on your knees. No. Yes. So no. Yeah. <laughs> so. And no. Ready? <laughs> wow. Here, my stick is here. It's not in the air here. It's right here. So I can play it, bob it with my glove, or I can redirect it. Same thing. If I'm here, okay? Key with this is we have some long stretches, right, with our stick that we can dive. If we go with our left, sometimes we get jammed up because goalkeepers go down like this and it's like ah, going that way. <laughs> you need to be able to slide through it so you're really pushing the outside of your palm down on the ground so it's here push slide all right yep that is when we're diving that's a dive to save the way i just taught you is if that ball is being passed from the zone three across we can drop to evaluate and then be able to dive to save it the next one is a dive to intercept where you're in a zone two, and Melissa realizes, hey, this goalkeeper's pretty good. I'm not gonna be able to score on her left, so let me pass it through the goal net. When that happens, what we need is to be able to intercept on a 90 degree angle. Okay, I'll explain what that is in a second without the clock. This line is the way we should be diving, if we're thinking about intercepting. So often, goalkeepers dive to intercept, but we like this. So essentially, we're not taking anything away. Mm -hmm. Nothing away. So you have to dive along this line. So if Melissa were to pass it, I would intercept it, ball line, body line, 90 degree angle. Okay? Say this ball bounces off right here. What do I do? Get up. Do I get up? This is a question that you guys can help me answer at this point. I would say yes. Okay, get up. Mm -hmm. Your defender is. 
variables, so where's my defender? What if we take everyone else and it's every man for themselves? And my decision only. Speak it with get you. up or stay down. How many of you say get up? How many of you say stay down? How many of you are really unsure at this point and that's why you're here? <laughs> so for me, for me, this is too close for me to try to get up. Because if I try to get up and once it comes onto it, she can push it right underneath me or take it and go. Okay? So that's why we do what I call inching. Okay? So ball comes out. I got Melissa. No, right there. I see the rebound, I see Melissa, I don't have time, I inch. I cover ground space moving forward to close down the angle. If I don't have time to get up, I have to cover space, okay? If that ball rebounds far out, okay, and it comes off slowly, and I have time to get up in a balanced position before Melissa shoots it, that's a decision-making piece. Okay, but we talk a lot about inching. Here, I want to get closer, so what happens, I take my top leg and I use that as my push. Push, I keep my bottom leg flat. Push, I get closer. If Melissa looks like she's gonna lift it, I push up. Okay, but otherwise, she's not gonna shoot it at, right at me. If she does, so are you. Okay. If she sees me coming and this, and then she makes that pass, I can try to intercept it by doing another little half dive. Or if she passes it back, she's trying to get up and then I can get on my hand. Yeah? So that's inching piece, right? The last one is dive to tackle. This is used in a one-on-one -on -one situation. So Melissa has the ball. She's coming down, I recognize that I have no help in front of me. Melissa pulls the ball to her left, my right. At that point, I can make my dive, okay? So what I want to do is intercept this ball, yep, left, going forward, okay? Diving forward to break it up. A lot of times when we do dive to uh, tackle, goalkeepers will tackle, or try to do their tackle, like this, go ahead. And I don't get it. Ball is free, attack is free. All right. So we do this. We ensure that we have that we break it up by going forward. And when I do that, Melissa keeps going. I get the ball yep. here, and then I can either do a six sweep or I can inch and get closer. Okay, but that's going into the ball. So diving to save is along the goal line. Diving to intercept is from zone to zone. And diving to tackle is going forward to break up the play. Okay? Questions on that? Awesome. So right now, we have eight minutes. Look if Melissa brings everything up. Yeah, open up space. Is that the wrong way? Go the wrong way? Pull, pull. Yep. See what she's doing? She's opening that space to the goal. The reason why she originally dove is to cover that space. Okay? So now what she dove... She's pulling that back, opening up that space, which we don't want. So, here, she actually gets her head and her chest going as quickly as can for the rebound. Okay? Yeah? Yeah. Very good. Box. We gotta see. From here over, we're gonna try, but that's a good strength. Okay? Especially if it's really a strong, it's a good strength. Alright? So, we have to do that. What moves faster, hands or our feet? Hands. <laughs> hands. Hands, right? So we go with our hands on strokes. We don't go with our feet. Some goalkeepers hop in here. <laughs> That's fine. I never do that. That's totally what you guys want to do. <laughs> I just get my heels on the line. Ball comes in. In my ready position here, I'm as big as possible. And then I expose the items. The the trick is when you extend, you gotta be able to rotate. We can't go like this and land like this. Ready? Yeah, I'll go. To your left, my left. Are you sure? <laughs> Practice first, go ahead. Go. Which way am I going? Harder. 
Answer your question. 